Hey guys, welcome to Tyson's Tight Lines. If you're going to catch them big catfish and you want to make sure that big circle hook gets caught in their mouth, you got to know how to snell a hook. Well, that's what we're going to go over today. Okay guys, we're going to go over how to snell a hook. And when you do this, you use these big circle catfish hooks. And we've got our line coming out over the top of the front. So when the fish pulls tight, it pulls back on that eye and pushes the corner of that hook into their mouth. So pretty much as soon as he takes off with the bait, he's hooking himself. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go through the front of the hook and hold our line down the back. Okay? And now we're going to do seven tight wraps, keeping them right on top of each other, coiled up real nice. Then, we're going to take the other end, if I can grab it, come through the back, out the front, and then just pull it real tight. And that's not going anywhere. And this is great because if you look at the knot itself, it doesn't look like it's going to hold that much. But basically because the pressure is evenly distributed all across it, there's no pinch points, it holds on great. I've never had one of these fail. They will hook every time. So now we'll cut off our excess. We're ready to go. Alright guys, so that's all there is to it. Pretty simple, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to check out my upcoming video tomorrow on the Uni Knot where I'll show you how to set up the under, other end of that leader so that it's ready to go when you get out in the field. And until next time, wishing you a bunch of tight lines.